Hi everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. And let's get right to it because big day and they really set up for a crazy Friday. So, woo. <laughs> At Windermere, Hayden tells Nicholas that she got the idea that Jake was Jason from him. And she says she overheard his conversation with Elizabeth where he like pretty much in plain words stated that Jake Doe was Jason Morgan. And I have to say, me and Hayden were actually, like, on the same page when it came to Elizabeth and her ethics. Because, like, I'm sorry, I think Hayden took, like, all the words out of my mouth with that one. What did you think? And does Hayden not realize, like, because she's really trying to blackmail Nicholas. And, like, if you don't let me stay here, I'm going to tell everyone. And, like, you have so much more to lose because your cousin is Jason's wife and this, that, and the other thing. Like, does she not realize he could literally, like, have her killed or lock her up in the catacombs and nobody would miss her? Nobody from town would miss her? I don't know if anyone from her old life would miss her because she's just been to Port Charles for, like, ever. And, obviously, like, no one cares. So... She's really playing a really dangerous game here. Like, a game I would not play. <laughs> At Elizabeth ha Elizabeth ha Elizabeth's house, I bit the side of my tongue yesterday, so that's why I'm talking a little weird. Um, Jake was initially going to leave, but Elizabeth is like, no, I don't want you to leave. And I still try to wrap my head around her whole hypocriticalness. I mean... Maybe if the thing with Rick hadn't literally just happened the same day that she decided to take Jason for herself, even though she knows, then it wouldn't have been so, like, outstanding. But the fact it happened on the same day just really, like, clouds everything. So I'll say it once and I say it again. When this whole thing breaks down and Jason you know, figures out who he is and eventually is going to find out that Elizabeth knew the whole time. He's not even going to be able to so much as look at her again. So she better get, like, it, it all out of her system now because she's never going to have another word with him ever. At Anna's hotel, that's, oh, and, oh, I, I skipped, uh, so Liz and Jason sleep together, and then she wants him to leave so that he's out there when Cabra wakes up in the morning, and my mouth is dry, and I don't know why, I'm just having a lot of mouth problems today, in Han Anna's hotel room, see, can't talk, Anna is packing, and Sloan shows up, and Sloan tells Anna that Carlos was in his CI's hotel room, and, um, Around the time that Jordan was shot at, so Carlos couldn't have been the shooter on the pier. And then Sloan's theory is that it was Duke who put the hit on Jordan. And Anna is, like, working overtime to excuse Duke and say that it couldn't have been him that ordered the hit. But Sloan sees right through it and sees what she's trying to do. And he, she eventually has to explain that her and Duke are going to leave together, you know to live happily ever after or whatever. Uh, Duke and Carlos. So Duke is still trying to call off the hit and Carlos shows up to kill Duke. Duke tells Carlos that Julian isn't going to be happy with him for inciting a mob war. And Carlos tells him that Julian is the one who actually called the hit or ordered the hit. And Duke grabs Carlos's hand with the gun and they struggle and there's a shot. But who gets shot? Dun, dun, dun. Sean and Jordan, so jo Sean and Jordan are together in her apartment, and um, Bruce is all, he's like stalking them, and he's all stressed out because he keeps looking at his phone and seeing there's two missed calls from Duke, and he thinks it's because Duke wants to know if the job is done already, but it's really Duke leaving voicemails saying, don't do it, so that's not going to go over well. So Bruce calls Sean to tell him that he needs to get out to Pier 54 because there's a shipment coming in, so... Sean leaves, and that's when Bruce makes his way into the apartment. Uh, Sam, Olivia, and Julian. So Julian wants to know what he's being lied to about. And Julian pretty much tells the group that Sean and Jordan will get what's coming to them uh, because the brawl in the lobby's brought up. And I thought that was, like, a prelude to, like, see all Sam's decision that maybe Julian shouldn't know that the baby's his but Olivia she she did have she was in a lot of pain today but she did have one very good like um not comeback but whatever about oh because 
something about you let Sonny, oh, because she's like, keep your mob stuff out of my hotel. And he's like, will you let Sonny have an office here? And she's like, yeah, it's called the double standard. And I absolutely love that. <laughs> uh, Julian keeps pressing the issue for Sam to tell him. And everyone else is like, dude, can we leave? Like, nobody wants to be here. Literally, nobody wants to be here. So then Julian straight up asks Sam if he's the baby's father. And Olivia starts having pain, and Julian thinks she's faking it. And Ned is like, um, no, she was in the hospital yesterday, so stop being a jerk, basically. So Olivia, still sitting down, is in a lot of pain, and Julian just keeps grilling Sam about this whole, what was the lie, what was the lie, what was the lie, blah, 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 blah. Like, meanwhile, not caring for the fact that Olivia's in a lot of pain, because he doesn't know what Braxton Hicks is. I'm sorry, you can watch Friends and know what Braxton Hicks is, okay? That's how I learned what Braxton Hicks was. So, and how are you a full-grown adult, and you've, like, never heard of Braxton Hicks? Like, it doesn't make sense at all. And, uh, Sam tells Julian that the baby is his, and I really didn't expect her to. I really thought she was going to keep Olivia's secret. But, it's like, I mean... I wasn't around for that, but maybe someone who was. Didn't Carly hate Robin because Robin told everyone that Jason wasn't the father of Michael? That it was AJ? Like, she blew that whole thing open, and that's why Carly always hated her. So, I feel like if you were there around that time, this could be a little reminiscent of it, but I don't know. Let me know if you watched it around that time. And the end. So Hayden, uh, Nicholas tells Hayden that she can stay for now. And it's not going to be as easy as she thinks, like, at all. And Elizabeth is talking to Jason's picture and trying to justify what she's doing and says that everyone else is, you know, going to be fine. It's not the perfect situation, but everyone's going to be fine, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, you're deluded. Um, Jason is walking through the Metro Court parking lot and sees blood and a gun on the ground so he's going to go check that out and um Anna tells Sloan her plans to go away with Duke uh Bruce is making his way to the apartment so okay so Julian's so upset he's upset that Olivia's been hiding this and totally again has no concern for the fact that she's in a lot of pain right now and is borderline kind of berating her like you kept this a secret from me blah 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 and then meanwhile um <laughs> Oh, he's like, I thought you were always such a straight shooter. Da, da, da. Meanwhile, like, it's a really great example that you're going to, like, borderline berate a pregnant woman who's in a lot of pain. Like, good job. You're really showing that you definitely deserve to be a father, right? And then Patrick informs everyone that Olivia's water broke and she's going to have the baby. So tomorrow's going to be a great Friday. And I hope Olivia keeps that child from Julian, like, Honestly, just to spite him because he was really <laughs> mean to her when she was in a lot of pain. And again, these are fictional characters. I would not approve of this in real life. This is a fictional fictional universe. But I really, I mean, Julian wants to, like, be this father. Meanwhile, he's, like, ordering hits. Like, Olivia had it right in the first place, just saying. Um whatever. Uh, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. Bye!